Okay, we're back with more Genshin Impact. We're gonna play through more of one of the main story quests. It's been a little bit. Gonna go talk to Nahida. Traveler Paimon, there you are. Nahida, bad news. We just saw the balladeer strolling around in public. Did he escape or? Ah, it's him! Hmm. <laughs> sure enough, you're here. Hey, what are you doing in the sanctuary of Sir Stana? I'm just supposed to be laughing. <laughs> Paimon's freaking out. I have a lot of questions. Uh, please, allow me to explain. It was my idea to set the balladeer free. We made a deal, and he's gonna do some investigation in Ermin's soul for me. A deal? <laughs> <laughs> you sure you trust this guy? What did I'm you expect? On. Why do you think Sumero would keep me around otherwise? Or maybe killing me is all you can think about. <laughs> but if that's the case... Why haven't you done it already? Don't oh. flatter yourself. It was... Nahida said there's still some mysteries in you to figure out. Ah, so if it were up to you, you'd finish the job? Guess I had you all wrong. There I was thinking you were just getting cold feet. Uh, well, that escalated quickly. Not a good start. Could I ask you all to please calm down? But... Paimon's worried about you, Nahida. Don't let him trick you. <laughs> it's not every day you see people questioning the God of Wisdom's judgment. Just when you think you've seen it all. <laughs> Don't you dare try to drive a wedge between us! <laughs> as long as the terms are reasonable, I don't think there's a problem in making a deal. Even with the Balladeer. Well, I for one have no reason to doubt you. Considering you even struck a deal with a doctor. <laughs> yes, one in which I gained valuable information. You'll come to understand more about that in the fullness of time. The Paladier's power was all but completely spent after your battle. He's no longer strong enough to be a strategic threat to us. That puts him in quite a precarious position. Plus, He's a former Harbinger with knowledge of many of the Fatui's sensitive secrets. Being stuck here in Sumeru could make him a sitting duck, depending on how the Fatui plan to respond. Wait a second. Farmer? You mean, he's not a Harbinger anymore? I take no pleasure in saying this, but... It seems as if the Doctor had no intention of welcoming back a loser, so... Sometimes it's you using them, other times... It's them using you. Most human relationships are this way. Certainly all the stable ones are. That's how it was between me and the Fatui. And also between each of the Harbingers. So as long as you have some value to offer, nobody will ever abandon you. But after recent events, even I have to admit that I'm not worth quite what I used to be. <laughs> these, uh, these options... <laughs> Well, if the Fatui are going to reevaluate my utility, I need to have a backup plan for myself. As we discussed, I don't like causing harm to living beings, and you said you need protection. So, why not join forces with us? I think these two have made their objection to that idea fairly clear, <laughs> don't you? Especially Paimon. And they're your friends, so I guess you'll be siding with them. Yeah, obviously! <laughs> Nahida, don't listen to him! Then let's put that discussion to the side for now. We still have time. Today can be a trial run. Where we go from here will depend on how well we manage to cooperate today. All right. Then I'll do what we agreed. Good. Go now, and keep in touch. Nahida, are you... are you serious about this? Yes. I have my reasons for this decision. In fact... 
I'm largely doing it for your benefit. Yes. As I told you once before, there's information about your twin in Ermin Soul. Oh, yeah. Actually, that's the whole reason we came to see you today. So, you have an update on that? Mm-hmm. You may remember me mentioning that the Fatui had not included your twin's details in the Descender category. This is an extremely important point. It's possible that the Fatui have other information that even I don't know about. And since the Balladeer used to be one of them, he'll be better acquainted with this information than I am. He was granted the power to connect with Erminsoul when he almost became the god of a new era. Even though he no longer has the Gnosis, some traces of its power remain in him. He can still connect. The amount of information in Erminsoul is vast beyond description. Sifting through all of it without knowing what to look for would take too long, even for me. So I asked the Balladeer to search in Erminsoul for any information about the Descenders. He's more familiar with this kind of information, and should be able to find it more quickly. Exactly! Or... what if... Oh, Paimon just doesn't trust him! He's treated us as enemies every time we've run into him! I understand. But sometimes, everything is dictated by which side you're on. How things will go in the future depends on what information he brings back. And Traveler, I know what your heart desires most of all. Our minds have connected several times before. There is a corner of your heart reserved for an intense longing. A feeling of being all alone in the dark, searching for the one candle whose light still burns. As Sumeru's deity, it is my responsibility to be on guard against the Balladeer. But as someone who counts you as a friend, I want to do something for you. If this deal with the Balladeer can give you the answers you've been longing to find, then it's worth it. It's my pleasure, really. You're Sumeru's hero. You've more than earned it. Hmm... Paimon's still worried about this idea. Is there anything we can do to help? I was going to contact you about that, but then you suddenly showed up on your own accord. It seems like we have a telepathic connection. In fact, I was going to ask you to supervise the Balladeer on my behalf while he carries out the task I assigned. Even though he only has a fraction of his full power left, that's still a fraction of a former Harbinger. If you could accompany him, it would put my mind at ease. Of course, I'll be there to help guide you through Ermansoul from the outside. Great, thank you. Prepare yourselves. I'm going to transport you into Ermansoul. Oh. Okay. Wow, it looks pretty different here compared to last time. Wow. The colors awesome. are gentler. Guess that must be because Sumeru's at peace now. Nope, oh, this guy. Look at that. Hot on my heels. <laughs> you know, you didn't have to cut your catch up short just to keep me company. Oh, but I guess you panicked when you realized that I might enter Ermin's soul ahead of you. Shut your beak, Jailbird! No way a prisoner gets to be so smug! <laughs> I understand that prisoners have to put up with harassment from the guards. But right now, I'm on temporary release. So maybe you should think about backing off a little. <laughs> Sounds like a successful rendezvous. I need to be quite clear about something. In a few moments, you'll be entering into the innermost region of Ermansoul. It is an environment like no other, and the most important place in all of Sumeru. Unlike anywhere else, Ermansoul's inner region consists exclusively of torrents of information. You must put aside your differences, and be extremely careful as you navigate your way through. I know there are many grievances between you, on both sides, but it is essential that you remain calm after entry. This is as much for your own safety as anything else. Fine, let's call it truce, but only until this mission's over. Let's cut each other a little slack, shall we? We are gonna be traveling together after all. Per my agreement with Lesser Lord Kusanali, I'll be at the front. 
It's my job to lead the way and get rid of any obstacles in our path. All you have to do is keep your pretty eyes open and try not to fall behind. <laughs> you sure are confident. Paimon will give you that. You make it sound like you're even more experienced at adventuring than us. If there are no further objections, I suggest we get going. Or did you need some time to mentally prepare yourselves? Ugh, the snark on this guy! It's unbearable! <laughs> we can start now. Ermintzel access grant. Initiating connection procedure. Is this a small sapling? Look! Darn it! Come on, let's catch up with him! Cool. This should be fun. Wow! Whoa! So this is the inside of Ermensoul. Ooh! Very cool. Paimon's never seen anything like this. And it feels like a sacred place. Ermin's soul is closely intertwined with the entirety of Tavat. Every bit of information flowing here means something. Pick your jaws up off the floor. It's time to go. Why is it that Paimon just wants to do the opposite of everything he says? <sighs> Lesser Lord Kusanali, we will now proceed to the heart of Ermin's soul. Can you still sense where the heart of Ermin's soul is? Yes. Permission to begin searching for information there? Permission granted. Go ahead. Let's go. Stay close. Don't go running off. Hey, so... Say we did go running off in here. <laughs> what would happen? <laughs> what, what are you smirking at? I was just imagining the look on your travel companion's face if you went and got lost. Anything's possible in here. You can't rule anything out. So if you want to stay safe, your best option is to stick close to me. Can't run ahead of him? Why not? <laughs> These sapling things have spread out! Those are all packets of information from inside Ermansol. Be careful not to touch them. It looks the same in every direction! about getting lost. Huh. What do you know? He was actually telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> is he mocking me again? Uh, what is it this time? Where is Paimon anyway? There's a time and a place to lie, but this definitely isn't it. So why don't you relax your guard a little? She's like talking inside my head. We're here. What a huge truth! Lesser Lord Kusanali. Good, you made it. Are you ready? Ready when you are. Then please begin. Preparing to access cognitive currents. Establishing waypoint. The Balladeer's actually doing what Nahida tells him. Guess he must want to stay alive. The rest is up to you. If you discover anything at all, make sure to share it with us. Will do. Huh. For once, we're the ones with nothing to do. Traveler, Paimon, would you like to talk? Yes, I've also invited Paimon to join. I? Huh? What the? We can talk to each other inside our heads? <laughs> <laughs> the 
that's part of it. Plus, we're all friends. There's nothing wrong with us talking like this once in a while. Paimon's never tried this before. This is great! So, Paimon's been wanting to ask you something. Don't you think the Balladeer's a bit of a walking contradiction? He's always talking back, but he seems to listen to what you say. As I've told you before, there are still some mysteries for him to resolve. Things that are clear as day to me, but that he has yet to understand. Perhaps today will be the day that he finds some answers. Well done. Smart and attentive as always. So, you made contact with that part of his mind. Well, it's true. Betrayal turned the Paladir into the person he is today. Huh. Paimon thought nothing could get under that guy's skin. Turns out, he can get hurt and angry just like anyone else. Everyone has a history, Paimon. Even if you're a puppet created by the Electro Archon. Speaking of puppets, we ran into two people at the Academia today talking about an essay. Turns out, their topic was about the Tatarasuna incident. Nahida, do you know anything about that? If you mean the mysterious events, the Kabuki Mono and so on, yes. I know about all of that. Really? Because from what they were saying, it sounded like lots of Tatarasuna's history is still unexplained. And most of the information we have now is just from people filling the gaps with their imagination. At least that's what they thought. Oh? How interesting. Those two managed to deduce quite a lot through guesswork alone. So the guess they got it right? Well, they guessed right about one thing. Tatara Suna was sabotaged. Must be a riveting conversation you three are having. Funny how all the good ones happen when I'm not involved. to each other <laughs> don't insult me you're having a private conversation without me obviously i must be the topic of said conversation <laughs> we're not even talking about you bro settle down of course you do you can't have your prisoner knowing too much so uh have you found anything yet still looking don't get your hopes up though you and your twin come from outside this world. It wouldn't surprise me if there was nothing on either of you in Ermensoul at all. Wait! How did you know about that? Didn't Nahida tell you? It's not like we've never met before. And anyway, you're world famous. It'd be more surprising if I didn't know a few things about you. Every conversation with you is hard work. But your attitude's better than I thought. Right now, we have to keep the peace. I'm not interested in creating more misery for myself. And making cordial conversation is something I can manage. Huh? Wait. This light. It looks similar to those saplings. What could it be? Anonymous data. Hey, don't you forget the agreement. You have to share it with us. <laughs> Just wait. Mr. Niwa, are you certain this is worth the risk? We are talking about Tatara Suna's furnace, after all. It may not pay to act rashly. There's no one else who can enter the furnace. It has to be me. Is that so? <sighs> well, since you insist. <gasps> it's... I have been in Tatara Suna for some time now. You have shown me great hospitality, as has Mikoshi Nagamasa, and indeed, everyone else. 
Under your leadership, Tatarasuna is a warm, welcoming place. Like a giant village. People are gainfully employed. Their lives have purpose. They are motivated. As I understand, the Raiden Shogun has, in recent years, eliminated much of the evil that plagued Inazuma. As for Tatarasuna, it was originally established as a means of safely disposing Crystal Marrow. The forging industry with Crystal Marrow as a raw material has since flourished, giving rise to generations of swordsmiths. Some world-renowned, others unknown. All passing on their legacy. Skills, blood, dreams. Every smith brought into this trade looks to find their purpose between steel and blade. That is why you accepted the proposal brought to you by myself and Akame. Yes, well, were it not for you coming to Inazuma and happening to make Akame's acquaintance, the two of you never would have joined forces. And he would be the first to admit that there's no way he could have revolutionized our forging process like this on his own. At least not on the same timescale. You allowed Akame to take all the credit for a method that you jointly developed. He sold it to me, and now every piece of ore here is smelted using the new technique. Even now, you remain one of Tatarasuna's key consultants, working right here alongside us. I believe it is you, sir, who are truly responsible for the changes in our manufacturing and forging methods. <laughs> you flatter me. From the outset, I saw much that was commendable in the forging industry of Inazuma. And it has been my great honor to befriend you all. So you say, Escher. But is this really the truth? My good sir, what do you mean? I tried to resist thinking it was all connected. Because I didn't want to speculate. And I didn't want to believe that things could turn out this way. What have we gained from adopting your new technology? Ominous black smoke? Mounting production problems? Worker fatigue and casualties are up, and continuing to rise at an alarming rate. And recently, as you well know, someone died because of that strange filth inside the furnace. We've kept the truth from spreading outside, but still, I suspect you They need to clean the furnace. None of the people who went out That's to get bad. help have come back. Now, our mutual friend, the Kabuki Mono, is taking the Golden Feather to Narukami Island to seek an audience with Shogun. This is our last hope. But that doesn't phase you, does it, Escher? Nothing does. Otherwise, why would you still be standing there with that smile on your face? <sighs> I'm just surprised that you finally chose to be so sincere. I'm sure you've been harboring this these voice is for funny. quite some time. <sighs> Mikoshi Nagamasa may have noticed that there was one common denominator among all these events. Namely you, Escher. But Mr. Mikoshi is more cautious than I. He does things by the book. After all, Nagamasa is the adopted son of Mikoshi Torichio, the yokai struck down by the Shogun's own hand. If he truly seeks to redeem his family's honor, an abundance of caution is well advised. You're well informed on the subtleties of his situation for a mechanic all the way from Fontaine. Are you sure you're not a little overqualified? Why, Mr. Niwa, are you suggesting I find a job as a diplomat? Sadly, I am so very attached to my craft. Enough, Escher. I'm here because an evil force is raging inside the furnace. <clears throat> and someone needs to take your new device inside the high-risk zone so we can absorb it and put an end to the problem. I'm in charge here, and I'm about to take some responsibility and head inside, probably to my death. But what about Creepy you? Creepy eyes. What are you still doing here? Judging from the look in your eyes, you don't seem to trust me. Drop the act. We're past that now. Whoever you are, it looks like your plan to destroy Tatara Suna has worked. I just want to know what you're still doing here. What's left? Don't you have all your answers by now? Honestly, I'm just waiting for the right moment. 
A moment like this, where you finish talking and I stop you from entering the furnace. Uh-oh. <sighs> you... You... <sighs> You're a little smarter than I initially gave you credit for. I thought I'd disguise myself exceptionally well, at least for the first few days. But to my surprise, you had your people look into my background right from the start. It's a long journey from Inazuma to Fontaine, but that didn't stop them. Eventually, they managed to confirm that Escher was an alias, and that I was not from Fontaine at all. And yet, despite all of that, you still fail to realize my true identity, and what I seek in Tatarasuna. Did you really think you would be able to see through my plan? <clears throat> if you kill me, there's no one who can get inside the furnace. So you're really going to destroy this place? Is that it? Oh, but you're quite wrong. There is one other person. Mm, some may not see him as a person, but you told him yourself. You're not a puppet. You're a human. You're just missing a heart. <sighs> Whoever you're working for won't get away with this. They'll be found out. But... This makes no sense. What are you really trying to accomplish by all this? Why go to all this trouble? It's no trouble at all. Patience is a virtue which I have in abundance. This is all part of a carefully controlled experiment. If you must know, I'm happy to divulge my true identity. I'm a Fatui Harbinger. Call me... The, the Doctor. doctor. <laughs> the Fatui? Who... What do you want? Just to create a minor inconvenience for your nation. That's it? That's why you... gave us your cursed technology? Just to let loose the evil energy from the Crystal Marrow? <laughs> Look how even the righteous soul is filled with venom when faced with its demise. My device functions precisely as you say. It is the only chance you have of preventing a catastrophe and keeping the truth from the outside world. However, I did not make it with you in mind. It is easier for a person to be possessed by evil spirits when they are filled with hate. So give in to your fury. I want to see what happens when a malevolent heart is placed into an unsuspecting puppet. Make no mistake, even without you, that pure, innocent puppet would only end up being used by someone else instead. What other reason would a human have for befriending one who is not of our kind? <clears throat> If you give him my heart, tell him that both Nagamasa and I see him as one of us. He has nothing to prove to anyone. Because not everyone just wants to use other people. The only ones. This is so over the top, the acting. Are people like you? <laughs> Aww. What a beautiful way to see the world. It almost makes me feel a little guilty. Hmm. Then out of respect for you, I shall redefine myself. Think of me as a monster or a demon, if you wish. At least this way your death is not a consequence of your own folly turning you into an easy target. You simply lost to something more powerful than you could ever hope to defeat. I say, Mr. Niwa, let's see what happens. Will your puppet friend become a human? No, that will prove quite impossible. 
Mr. Niwa? Already dead. What a pity. <sighs> Jester, I have completed the task you gave me. Creating a gap and infiltrating Inazuma's inner workings. <laughs> what fun it was. I'd like to introduce a puppet to you. If he proves useful, let's make him our newest comrade. And if not, let's turn him to dust. Hey, are you all right? Dottore. <laughs> Dottore. Well, is he freaking out? Good. Good. Was that the doctor? Did he turn into a mechanic from Fontaine? But... Why do we see things from his perspective? When I touched the doctor to confirm whether he'd eliminated all his segments, I read this memory in his mind. You have to admit, it must be the truth. Maybe so, but it means nothing. Does it? But this memory shows that Niwa didn't betray you. He never meant for you to be the one to take the device into the furnace. You know very well what that means. Even more so than I. <sighs> Let's give him some space. He looks really mad. Paimon doesn't want to be anywhere near <laughs> him right now. We need to give him some time to process his emotions. Paimon's still confused about the Tatarasuna incident. So, the doctor was behind it, but why has that gotten him so worked up? Nobody has ever deceived you like that, Paimon. It's natural that you find it difficult to understand. Perhaps he needed to learn this someday. So now you have the complete picture. Katsuragi took the Kabuki Mono to live with the people of Tatarasuna. Later, the doctor showed up, disguised as a mechanic from Fontaine. And that's when the trouble began. It was all a horrific experiment planned by the doctor. Everything he did was just to plant seeds of disaster in Inazuma that would bear fruit in the future. Of all the unwitting participants in the doctor's experiment, the Balladeer became the main test subject. After the events you just saw in that memory, the doctor put Niwa's heart into the device and handed it to the Balladeer. Then, he instructed him to enter the furnace and absorb all the filth caused by the smelting process. The load was far beyond what he expected, Cleaning the furnace. but the Balladeer survived. He left the furnace in sheer exhaustion and said to the mechanic, This device seems to have protected me. What's in it? The mechanic answered, Niwa fled this place for fear of punishment, but he left you a gift. He said it's the one thing that you've been looking for. He took it straight from the chest of one of his innocent servants. The mechanic removed the withered heart from the device as he spoke. The balladeer was stunned that such unthinkable cruelty had brought him the thing he'd been longing for his entire life. A heart acquired through cold-blooded murder is a cursed thing. But it has protected him from the filth. He thought Niwa had completely betrayed him, and yet this very betrayal had ensured his survival. Overwhelmed with anger and sorrow, the Balladeer threw the heart to the ground and left Tatarasuna without looking back. Holy moly! So the doctor killed an innocent man and pinned everything on the victim? That's terrible! Yes. Only if he understands this can he choose a new path forward. Tatori, you brazen-faced... <clears throat> Niwa didn't run from justice. 
You killed him. He's pissed. Shall we see how he's doing? Hey, you all right? <laughs> That's a scary expression. <laughs> Pylon. Are you worried about me? If we didn't have such a history, I'd almost think that qualifies me to be your friend. It won't. I'll keep my end of the deal. <sighs> hey, are you investigating the stuff we want to know about? That's why we're here. But unfortunately, there's no information about the Descenders in Ermansoul. Even if you can't find anything, that seems to confirm it. Ermansoul does not keep records on the Descenders. Anyone who comes from beyond this world is not counted as part of Tavat. Oh, does that mean we have to leave empty-handed? Don't thank me just yet. Hmm, you look really upset. <laughs> well... Since Ermin's soul was a dead end, I guess I can share some other info that might interest you. Huh? About what? The reason why there are records about your brother in Ermin's soul. It might have something to do with Conria. Apparently, Conria was his first destination when he arrived in this world. Plus, he only came to this world because the heavens responded to the summoning. The heavens responded? The Jester told me this himself. You can take his word on this. He was a royal mage in Conria, and lived with your brother for a time. I don't know the details. It's up to you whether you want to believe me. All I can say is, I wouldn't lie to you about this. Did you get all that, Lesser Lord Kusanali? Yes. Astonishing news. Does this info count towards my mission? It wasn't from Ermansoul. But was it valuable? Very valuable. Good. In that case, I'll take some time for myself now. Creepy. Huh? What have you done? Lesser Lord Kusanali was right. My power's all but completely spent. Even if I use all of the divine power left in me, I can't sustain this shield for very long. I shared a secret with you, and now you owe me. So in return, I'd like you to answer a question for me. Give me your hand. Oh, what's going on here? Can you hear my voice inside your head? <laughs> yeah, this guy is so sketchy. No, I can't do anything like that anymore. At most, all I can do is exchange a Paimon's few words with making you. faces. <laughs> so tell me, in this world, is it possible to change the past? Yeah, good question. Why would you ask me that? Done. Huh? What the? What happened? I not only saw you hold hands for a second. Nothing. I was just thanking her for helping me. Yeah, right. So long. I suggest you get yourselves out of here quickly. Before I get lost. Going? Hey, wait up! Didn't you say not to go running off? Fast reaction time. But I don't think we'll be seeing each other again. From this day forth, the names Baladir and Kabuki Mono will cease to exist. Those who died in Tatarasuna because of me deserve another chance at life. Hey, Baladir! Don't do anything stupid! You know, I never did like insects. Hordes of the puny things swarming together can be a real nuisance. And I enjoy nothing more than to stamp them out like the pests they are. What? But if a colony of harmless ants isn't threatening anyone, I guess they deserve to be left alone. Luckily... Everything can be set right. It's time to solve this 
once and for all. Balladeer! Balladeer! Uh-oh, he disappeared! Come on, we gotta find him somehow! Oh no, he's really gone! Oh, can you hear me? Nahida! Traveler, Paimon, Paladir, what happened just now? I was suddenly cut off by some kind of power. It was the Balladeer's fault! He... he shut you out! I didn't think he'd be capable of something like that with so little power left. Did he keep some of his power hidden when he was defeated? Or... Did he achieve something beyond his abilities, and it took everything he had? Where the heck did he go? Oh, it's all our fault. We were supposed to keep an eye on him. Sorry, Nahida. Don't be. It's not your fault. Please, let me handle this from here. Even though I'm not sure I can solve it. We're running out of time. Follow my lead and get out of Ermansoul as soon as possible. Hopefully I don't get lost. I guess I didn't. And we're at... uh... an inn or something? This is an emergency. I'll have to ask you to stay here for now. Everything's arranged, and nobody will disturb you. I'm sorry, but this isn't something I need your help with. Leave this one to me. An emergency? How bad is it? Nahida, will you be okay? Don't worry. She's if going for a snack run. Correct, <laughs> though there may be some minor disturbances, it won't lead to a disaster. Please rest and recover your strength here until I say it's safe. Her voice has gone. Paimon can't shake the feeling that something really big has happened. What do you think the Balladeer meant? And why did he suddenly grab onto you before? He wants to change the past? But surely that's impossible! Right! You can't just rewrite history! All that stuff happened already in real life! It's like... Um... Imagine Paimon drank all the water in this inn. Even if no one was there to see it, Paimon would sure as heck remember drinking it! Then she'd have to go to the can. <laughs> so, uh, drinking all that water. The thing is bigger than she is. This? Paimon <laughs> can't help but feel scared about what he might do. Paimon's so confused. Huh? See, she broke it. Sorry. Paimon accidentally... Oh. It's the Balladeer's fault for causing Paimon all this mental stress. But erasing yourself from history? It's unthinkable. Is that... Really possible in Ermansoul? Uh oh. Paimon's head is overheating from trying to understand what he's up to. And it's still not working. Paimon's had it with that little brat. He's been nothing but trouble ever since we met him. There's no way he'll actually succeed, right? Otherwise, won't everyone who's connected to him be affected too? we can do about it at this point. Hey, have you got any ideas on what we should do next? Seems like now there's nothing left for us to do but to go to sleep. But Paimon's still so worried. Paimon won't be able to sleep a wink tonight. So, how about... Uh... We list all our favorite foods to take our mind off things. Heck, if that doesn't work, <laughs> Paimon's probably gonna collapse of anxiety here. Alright, Paimon will start. 
first dish. Hmm. Munstack grilled fish. Oh, and chicken mushroom skewers. Tea break pancakes. Cream <laughs> stew. This all sake, sounds good. Matsutake, and dragon chili chicken. Almond tofu. Satisfying salad. Oh, oh. Also, Adeptus Temptation. Golden shrimp balls. Triple layered consomme. Lotus seed and bird egg soup. And Just going on and on and on. And. Did I conk out? Um. Um. Hmm? Uh, hmm. Uh. What are we. What was Paimon supposed to be doing just now? Paimon was. Um. Talking? Huh. Paimon suddenly can't remember what she was talking about. What was it again? Hmm? The balladeer? Is that a food too? Huh. Weird name though. Oh, he changed the past. Interesting. What's wrong? Your eyes are like saucers. Was it something Paimon said? So, the balladeer. Is that someone's name? Cause it sounds like a nickname or something. Hmm? Okay, sure! Where are we going? Huh? Fine by Paimon, but... Is everything okay? You're acting like this is an emergency. That's pretty far. Probably have to warp there. Wow. Oh man, I have to go all the way to Inazuma? Boo. It's been a while. Of course. Go ahead. No. Oh. <laughs> now there's a question I wasn't expecting. <sighs> Very well. I'll tell you what I know once more. The once renowned Raiden Gokuden, comprised of five branches Aminoma, Futsu, Ishin, Hyakume, and Senju. The art of forging practiced by these five clans was first taught to them personally by the almighty Shogun. Over time, the five branches diverged from one another as generations of bladesmiths honed and perfected their craft until they became five distinct traditions. Most of the great swordsmith clans of old have since fallen into decline. And for a long time, only the Amenoma branch kept its heart alive. But fortunately, Kaedehara Kazuha recently returned to Inazuma and took up the mantle of the Ishin art. Now, two clans remain of the original Gokuden Five. If my memory serves me right, you yourself were present when he forged the Ishin blade. Oh yeah, we were! Paimon remembers that now! I learned a bit about the decline of the Raiden Gokuden then, too. It seems like such a shame. <sighs> that, my friends, is a tragic tale indeed. In fact, this was not made known to me for most of my life. All these years, I knew of those great clan's demise, but never the cause. <sighs> Only recently, when the question was on my mind, did I ask Kaedehara Kazuha about this. He told me that, as we are both heirs to a branch of the Raiden Gokunin, it was right that I should know the truth. There is no harm in telling you, 
But I must warn you. It is a dark and sorrowful tale. The Raiden Gokiden were the targets of a murderous rampage by a vengeful bladesmith. Vengeful? Why? Four hundred years ago, so I'm told, there was a catastrophic malfunction in Tatarasuna's furnace. One brave swordsmith heard the commotion and chose not to flee, but he rushed to the scene, hoping to prevent a disaster. Tatarasuna was home to a state-of-the-art forging and smelting operation in that day, and overseeing it was the armory officer. His surname was Niwa, though he had family ties to the Kai Dehara clan. Knowing that they had just one chance to save countless lives, Mr. Niwa and the swordsmith leaped together into the furnace. The furnace quickly stabilized, but neither of them made it out. The smith's death, though heroic, dealt a devastating blow to his family's fortunes. His orphan son was left to fend for himself and grew up deeply resentful at the world. In his heart, the whole of Inazuma was culpable in his tragedy. He hated the almighty Shogun for her apparent indifference towards his father's death, and he hated everyone who had done nothing to try and save him. Powerless and destitute, the only legacy he had to pass on to his children was his hatred. Generation after generation bore this grudge, living in utter misery. Alas, if only the story could have ended there. But 100 years ago, the then head of this family reached the end of his wits. He could bear their fate no longer, and yet he could do nothing to change it. Finally, he made a drastic decision to take revenge on the Raiden Gokuden. In doing so, he sought to vent his pet of anger and shake the very foundations of Inazuma's forging industry. In his fury, he murdered indiscriminately, killing even bladesmiths from the Hyakume clan which he belonged to. His goal was absolute, the devastation of all of the Raiden Gokuden. But when he came to the Kaidehara and Kamisato clans, his killing spree came to an abrupt end. He failed to catch them unawares. They fought back, fiercely, and they did not spare his life. That is why the Kaidehara clan and their Ishin art survived that day. I suppose they were the lucky ones, under the dire circumstances. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? Kazuha? Why, yes. Just yesterday, in fact. We spoke for a while over some tea. He seemed well. My pleasure. Don't tell Paimon. There are other places you want to visit, too, right? <laughs> Your expression says it all. You can't hide anything from Paimon. <laughs> On to the next stop. Lead the way, traveler. Paimon will be right behind you. Okay. Commission's headquarters, so... Traveler, it's been a while. Hello. If you're looking for the Commissioner and Miss Kamisato, I'm afraid your timing is unfortunate. They're not here right now. Are they out on business? The Commissioner is out on business, and Miss Kamisato is standing in for some meetings in the Commissioner's place. If it's urgent, you're welcome to wait inside until they get back. What do you think? Shall we go in? If it were anyone else, I couldn't allow it. But seeing as you're so close with the Commissioner and Miss Kamisato, I think it should be okay. We'll be heading in.
in then. Thanks! Hmm? Hello, dears. Is there something you want to say? <laughs> of course, traveler. Yes, I know who you are. Miss Kamisato has told me about you. What would you like to know? Oh, they're both very well indeed. Lately, Miss Kamisato has been rather busy attending all kinds of meetings and occasionally paying visits to some local organizations on the Commissioner's behalf. As for the Commissioner himself, well, you know, busy as ever, that much hasn't changed. Although, he does seem to be in a rather good mood these days. So pretty much business as usual in the Yashiro Commission, huh? Very much so. Well, got any more questions? You're very welcome. In fact, I would love nothing more than for you to come and visit more often. But I'm sure you must be far too busy to have time for that. Miss Kamisato talks about you all the time. She seems so thrilled to have you as a friend. And she's always saying how talented you are and how much she admires you. I must say, many things in Inazuma seem to have taken a turn for the better since you arrived here. So, you're not just Miss Kamisato's knight in shining armor, you know. You're a hero to us all. Alright, goodbye for now! We're, uh... Where are we going next? Great! Goodbye, ma'am! Don't worry, we'll see ourselves out! Alright then, take care now. Hope to see you soon! Oh, are you two leaving already? Yep, everything's taken care of now, don't worry. Very well, safe travels. Goodbye. <laughs>